Nuno has a secret weapon. I'm going to show you what it is, and then I'm going to show you exactly how to use it. Have you ever wondered how he gets that really percussive tone, almost like a kick drum? It's like the pick is almost rebounding off the strings, like a beater on a kick drum. It's tight, it's percussive, it's aggressive, and it's got some real chunk to it. Now I'm not going to tell you myself what the secret weapon is, I'm going to let Mr. Rick Beato give it away, because I pinched this from one of his videos. We need to talk about the rat pedal. So it's the Procore Rat. I'm going to show you exactly how he uses this, and exactly how he sets it up. But it's not just Nuno who uses this thing. If you look at who uses the rat, it's an absolute who's who. I'm going to read you a list. Dave Gilmore, Robert Fripp, John Schofield, Joe Perry, Graham Coxon from Blur, Jeff Beck, the list goes on and on, and the rat really is the sound of hair metal. It's the tone. Now, when Nuno uses it, he doesn't crank it. He's not running it into a clean amp and getting all his gain from that. He uses it as an always-on pedal, which means it's an integral part of his tone. It's not even on his pedal board. He has it sitting on top of his amp. And here's the crucial thing. He runs it not into a clean amplifier, but into an already overdriven amp. So, you want to know where he sets all these little dials to? Well, you know what? He uses it in a very similar way to how a lot of metal players and rock players use, for instance, a tube screamer. But don't take my word for it. Let's have the man himself tell you. I turned off all the distortion at like, I don't know, let's call it between like, you know, nine o'clock and the volume up at like, you know, three o'clock and the, just in the center, like wings, perfect little, little, uh, little cross, <laughs> let's get a little religious. There it is, there's my rat. And what he's doing is he's setting the volume pretty high, the filter in the middle. And remember, the filter is actually a roll off. And then the distortion pretty low. You will need to experiment with yours to find the sweet spot. But when you do, you'll find that little chug, that little spot where it just goes digga, digga, digga. And everything just seems to sit and work really, really well. You will very, very much feel it a lot more than you're going to hear it. And if you want to know a little bit about how Steve Vai and Joe Satriani use a DS1, there's a video there. And if you want to have a little look at how Stevie Ray Vaughan uses his Tube Screamer, little video there. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget, give me a like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!